every job we take, we make some new friends. We get the ball, we score the goals, and then it's on again. Maybe tomorrow we'll get a brand new start. Until tomorrow, the aim is he would park. Well, folks, welcome back to yet another episode of my Football Manager 2020 game save with FC20. That's right, Football Manager 2020 with FC20. Yes, it all goes together. Huh, I've only just realised. Um, since you've been gone, we've had an okay sort of up and down sort of season. Of course, since you were last with us, we did put that 4 0 barnstorming performance up against Ajax. Uh, but since then, a couple of games for you. A 2 2 draw away to VVV Venlo. Always tricky, uh, the old VVV Venlo, but uh, up steps Simon Van Doon Bon Boon uh, with a double today. Uh, first from the edge. I think the second was from the, from the edge as well. Horn cab uh, laid up for here. Uh, ends up coming out to Luc De Jong, smashing over the equaliser just before half time. Into the second half we went though, and it was Van Doon Bon again. This time comes out to his feet this time, tucks in, in the bottom bins. 2-1, nice celebration to boot. But then Bass uh, made it all square in the 80th minute from the penalty spot. 2-2. Another flip-flop game up against Lokomotiv of Moscow in the Euro, Euro Cup 2. Uh, our first match of the uh, session here. In a much rotated squad, <coughs> Maranchuk put the uh, visitors in front with this messy, scrappy goal to make it 1-0 Moscow. Uh, but we uh, got ourselves right back into, into it. I think this was Joe Klein's first game of the season. And he got ourselves his first goal of the campaign as well, the Jokester. Oh, yes. And then we made it two. Uh, this is in the second half, I think. Uh, Laktau with the cross. England. Uh, Mykon getting on the end of it to make it 2-1. Uh, then Lokomoto Moscow equalised from a free kick. Bit of a belter. I think Marsalios got the final touch. And then Riera again. Uh, with his head to make it 3-2. Topsy-turvy game. We also had a man sent off. And then we just wrapped it up with a uh, another tricky away days. Up against Heron Veen. And we can only muster a 1-1 draw. Post took the lead on the 35th minute. Mitchell Van Bergen. Popped that bad boy in the back of the bins to make it 1-0 on the 35th. Uh, we uh, got a late, late, late equaliser here. Substitute. And one of my lonely strikers set out with his head to make it 1-1. So, today, we are be taking on uh, FC Utrecht in the Eredivisie. Then we're off to Israel to take on Mekab Tel Aviv and the Europa Cup uh, group match. So here we go, boys, up against Utrecht. We've played each other eight times over the course of time. We've yet to beat them, but today has got to be the day. They're coming to this in seventh. We're up as high as fifth at the moment. Looking good. A win potentially could break into the top four. We've got the good goal difference, which could go in our favour. Final, have it. Have a, looks like a pretty easy match uh, on paper up against Fortuna Sittard. But they're doing all right for themselves sitting in ninth. But we're all worried about us first. Let's not worry about, let's not worry about them bad boys. So let's have a look at the team. Um, what do we do with you guys? So we have an injury at um, right back. So up steps Bakuna. Bakuna Matata, in you pop, you go, Sunshine. We'll keep this trio there. Van Doonbon up top, we'll go with that as well. Erling Martin. In fact, no, we're gonna we're gonna throw in um, Busamata Dente up top because Van Doonbon can play in the Europa game in just a second. Um, also, we'll, get, we'll load the bench as well with some with some fellas. Holtby is uh, packing it in. Did I tell you about the signings? I don't think I did. Um, We'll, uh, we'll mix it up a little bit here. Who else cannot play? Let's get him on there. For Gusted. Bonsu, blah, 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 blah. Reginaldo between the sticks. In fact, let's uh, stick um, let's stick uh, Tsonsu alongside Drezovic. Before that, let's uh, take a look at uh, the transfer deadline day. It was a bit of a bust, a bit of a snore fest, to be honest with you. Not much going on. Uh, we did bring in Lewis Holtby. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, but any players going out? Um, I think we talked about this before. Did we? When was the Holtby deal done? Yeah, it was just Lewis Holtby. Brought him in. Of course, ex-Rover. You know, decent fitness. Not bad pace. He could play anywhere in midfield. Defensive midfield. All the way up to a, a striker if we're desperate. Um, so he's there. Uh, he's going to be on the bench today against Utrecht. So, let's get it on. Like Donkey Kong. Hang on a minute. We've got another injury. Cassius is out. Up will come Oskirk on the bench. Let's do it. Love a win today. I would really love a win today. I 
up against Utrecht. We're at home. We should be we should be favourites. Not uh, Rakitic uh, in defence here for Utrecht. And away we go. From the back from uh, Utrecht here, they pump it forward uh, to the right-hand side for Kaiba. Pulls it back into central midfield. It's broken up, though. Here come uh, Tvente with the dude. Spreads it out to Tavasan. The dude. What you got going? What you got going forward? It stumbles over his own feet. Sets it up for Utrecht. Now breaking on the right now with Mahalic. Can uh, we get a leg in? No, it's crossed. It's deadly. It's a good save. I think it's Schlengelar between the posts. We're going to take a pause right there. And we are going to rename him The Dude. Let's get in there. Set his nickname to The Dude. Because Dude Man. And, and when, when that other dude fellow is on there, it is a bit of a tongue-tastic uh, thing. So we'll, we'll, we'll allow that. I think there's a couple other ones I would like to shorten. That uh, Dos Santos is just Dos Santos. But anyway, nil-nil so far. I th I'd like to be winning this game. I'm not going to lie to you. Here comes Utrecht with the break. It's broken up. Karate kicked, cleared. Uh, down as far as Van Overeem, who pumps it back down the line. We get back in possession. Emmerich now can maybe build. He lums a long ball for Boisantamente. His shot is shit, and he goes wide. But uh, Reginaldo is uh, Mr. Karate Kid expert. I think he must have a black belt or something like that. He's always lump lumping in the old karate kicks. Chance here potentially for, for uh, 20. Bakuna's throw to Erling Mark. Whips a cross in. Comes out loose. Emmerich's on the ball. Switches out to uh, Tavasan. Gets the cross in. It's decent. It is the best. Dos Santos. The mouthful mouth there. His fourth goal of the season. If we keep him fit and healthy, he will be an absolute mega player for us. Him and Tavasan uh, offering very good options on the wings. I'm liking that. And that has put us into fifth. Uh, Ajax dropping down a little bit. Uh, final one up against uh, Fortuna Sitar, but we'll well, it keeps us in the mix. Potentially now we're just a win away from second. Aiz and Altmar are still running away with it, with the game in hand. Goodness gracious me, they're not even playing today. But uh, yeah, this keeps us in the thick of things. 1-0 halftime, it's all FC20. That's how we like it. Okay, next up. Second half, here we go. Looking at my bench. So far, we are doing all right. It's not that exciting, edge of the seat stuff. But to be honest with you, I'm okay. I'm content with a 1-0 win. Chance here, potentially, for Twente. The dude man. His nickname doesn't come through yet. Doesn't look like. Broken up here. Here comes Utrecht. Pulled it back to Rakitic. Goes all the way back through to the keeper. Any mistakes here would be costly. But no, they build again. Timber. Now on the right hand side. Pick his pocket, boys. Pick his pocket. They do. Kuna Emmerich with the ball. He breaks it through into the middle. And Posata Matente, his shot is wide. And that's probably his, his final effort. You know what, Son? You know you don't. You haven't got it in you. You haven't got it in you. Bring on the guy, other guy who did score in the last game. So, in fact, let's make a couple changes here if I can. Nope, I can't. We'll play on. Make another change here. Um, the dude. The dude is coming off. We'll chuck on Adonis. And then Dos Santos can mix it up a little bit. And at the back, Reginaldo. Got himself a, a lovely yellow. We'll bring on Drezovic. A couple subs here just to ease it up a little bit. And hopefully enough to keep the points in the bag, boys. Corner, Adonis is on it, fires it in, it's decent, look at that, look at that, that's why I get paid the big bucks boys, flipping both substitutes, straight in effect there, Ibrahim Drizovic with the header, Adonis with the corner, that's why I get paid the big bucks, that's why FC20 are going to go very, very far this season, because shit like that happens, it also can go the other way, it does, it does go the other way, but that is, that's, that's a manager's, that's a manager's dream right there. You make the changes, and boom, they impact the game hugely. That's probably sealed the deal. So let's look at Sparta flying up there in sixth spot, beating PSV today, who have tumbled down a little bit. 2-0, job done. Next one, bring on the old, let's go off to Israel. That's where we're going. Yes, indeed. 
Uh, other than anything else, Ajax lost again. Goodness gracious me, they are getting themselves battered. Top Oss with a big old victory. PSV down to 12th. You know what? That's um, that is very interesting in the old job situation. I bet you they're they're, they're a little bit wobbly now. The old uh, the old Dutch jobs. Here they are. PSV insecure. Ajax stable. Yeah, what about me? What about me? Where am I? Untouchable, baby. I'm untouchable. Bring that shit on. Yes. Adonis makes his debut, and what a debut. Impact from the bench. So here we are, folks, up against Maccabi Tel Aviv, out in Israel. Uh, we started off our Europa 2 campaign uh, with a win against Molokan Road in Moscow. But today, we could get ourselves uh, within touching distance of the second round already. If we were to beat uh, Tel Aviv and Mechelin, beat Molokan Road in Moscow, we'd be six points clear already of the chasing pack. So that would be uh, food for thought. Um, and we're also going to mix it up a little bit personnel-wise. Uh, of course, this was the team that duped it out last time. We're going to throw in some reserves, give them some game time, and see what comes out the other end. Okay, folks, so here we go with the starting 11. We've got Hoogebert, the youngster between the sticks, Lactau, Reginaldo, Riera, Fukan, Oskuk, make up the back four, Bonsu, Bruya in the middle of the park, Cassius on the left, Jokalainen and Engeland make up a bit of a, a ship shabby uh, forward trio with the Van Duden von Boden, Duven Boden, Vandy, Vandy, Vandy up top. Van D B. What can we re re nickname this little son of a bitch to? Van Dude. Van Duven. Van Duven. We'll call him Van Duven. With Dan Duven up top. That's right. Lead the charge. Um, on the bench, the dude is not there. We'll stick on Grandulus on the bench because he's a he's a multifaceted player. Can can uh, can come on and play on the left or the right or whatever. Anyway, uh, let's go for this. Up against uh, Tel Aviv. Let's go. Okay, folks. So I did blitz past the old start screen there. Um, purely, purely eager to get going. We're going to have a little look at the lineups. In just one minute, Van Duven has popped in there on the sixth minute. Or the second minute, even. With his sixth goal of the campaign. The nickname has done him well. The nickname has done him well. Van Duven on the old score sheet once again. He's proven to be very, very clinical. Especially with his head. Boom. Rudy, eat your heart out, he says. Rudy watching from the uh, from the stands with me as he's uh, going to try and get him on a leadership course or, or coaching course or whatever and, and start getting him <coughs> his feet wet a little bit. Straight from uh, kickoff again here. Another highlight, potentially for Twente with Engeland on the right-hand side. Can he get across? And he goes in an amazing little run, goes for a goal himself and puts that wide. So fantastic start for the Dutchies. But as you see, the lineups, uh, no familiar faces and the old uh, the Israelis little set up. Uh, but it's all about SC20. Van Duven slips it down to the right-hand side for England. Can he get a cross in? Does. Up steps the joke star. And he also makes this his event. Scoring his second goal in as many starts. So the joke star has got something to offer. Despite falling down the pecking order up top. Maybe that attacking midfield slot is his. Him and the, the dude can compete for that in all competitions. But up steps the joke star. Great header. He knows where the back of the net is. Two assists so far as well. Lactal and England. The contributors. Five star. Look at this. It's all flipping FC20. It's in the back of the bins. Patrick Engeland this time gets on the score sheet. Bruyer with the assist. It's an absolute riot. Look at the boys. Phenomenal start. Absolutely phenomenal. All are they all headers? We like a like a scoring a goal with the back of the back there with the old Barnet. Get in there, son. Well, well, that was easy. I could just sit back and enjoy. Maybe uh, we'll throw on the likes of um, Zuan in the second. Oh, here we go. Here we go. A bit of pressure, but no. I think this young keeper is also pretty good. Hubert's. Um, Hubert's and Schlengel could have a, little, a nice, little, nice little competition towards the back end of the season. Who will be the outright number one? But look at that. Field of green coming on the right-hand side there for FC20's performance so far. Yeah. Good, good, good. Very good. Relaxed, relaxed. Uh, 3 0, half time in control out in Israel. Second half, here we go. Uh, I'm going to probably push Cassus up top shortly and bring on Grandulus or maybe Emmerich on the left hand side. We'll give him a little run out there. Zawan could come in as well. Look at that sea of green. It's coming. It's coming. Could this be number four? 
Joker line and pulls it back to the middle of the field for Bruya. Long range perhaps for Bonsu. Strikes. It is 4 0. It is 4 0. Goodness gracious me. Let's take a momentary pause and let's bring on some substitutes. It's an absolute riot. It is a riot. Van Duven, you're coming off. Uh, Emmerich can play on the left. We'll give Zwan a shot at the back. Um, who's. who's uh, we'll take Reginaldo off. And any, any more for any more? I think we'll just leave it like that for the time being. But well, well, well. Phenomenal. Phenomenal goal. Bruya and Bonsu linking up in the middle. They, they, they kind of go under the radar a little bit, these boys, but they like a long range hit. And that one's fantastic. And that is game set and match, I think. Phenomenal display by FC20. Not as good as Atalanta, though, but we're away from home. You've got to take our oh, way. It could be more here. Bruya with the corner. Comes back out. Cassius now playing as a striker. Let's get him on the score sheet. England out to Bonsu. Bruya can potentially get another cross in. He does. It's looping. It's the jokester. It's five pissing nil. If I knew it was going to be this easy, we wouldn't have bloody shown it. We wouldn't have bloody shown it. I thought this might have been a little bit of a competition. But flipping aura. Joker Linen, thank you for your contribution, sir. Third goal of the season. Bruya's having a barnstormer as well. Being the... the the assist maker. Three assists for the day. And it's still got 20 minutes of football to go. One sub to make. Fire down the left. It's picked up by Riera. El Capitano for the day. Out to Hubert's the young uh, goalkeeper. Zwan now on the field. Young Dutchie. Yeah, boy, in Bonsoon out to Brumia. Looking to get in a fourth assist potentially. England nearly loses it. He does lose it. It comes out now to the to Israelis. Maki Tel Aviv. But they lose it again. Emmerich, who is a very crafty little player. Spreads it to Bruya. Lovely spread to England. Get across in, son. Get across. No, it's dealt with. And here come a Maccabi Tel Aviv. Well, it's busted open again. Bonsu looping in for England. Oh, he hits the woodwork. And it is dealt with uh, very, very haphazardly as well. Maccabi Tel Aviv hanging on for dear life. Corner again. Bruya, Bruza, whatever his name is. Scrambled. Me messy. It's all over the shop. And it goes out for a corner on the other end. Who's going to take this one? It is Bruya again, fires it in. This time it is cleared uh, as far as Bonsu. Any more from this potential display? No. 5-0. What a, what, a, what a performance. Again, I'm absolutely loving FC20. The, the variety of players we have on the field. Here's a chance, though, for Tel Aviv to get a bit of a consolation. No great save, Huberts. That's why I put you in the team, because I know you've got the capabilities. And we're looking very, very good. For the three points. I don't know. I should really pay attention to what's going on in the other game. To see if we're going to be six points clear at the top. Headed clear. There we go. England. Um, I don't know. I think Lokomo and Moscow are winning. Eight minutes to go. Would this be the cherry on top to make it six? Joker line holds up play nicely. Bruja now moving forward on the right to England. It's got a yellow. Can he get a cross in? He can. He's headed. Only half dealt with Cassis. Lays it off for Emmerich. Boom, boom. And that is six. The keeper is like paper thin. Can't hold anything out. And that is six nil. Wow. Wow. We wow. We don't even want to see that one again. We're bored. We're bored of it. We are bored of it. It's been an absolute cherry on top treat. And there might even be a seventh here. I don't do seven nils. I don't do seven nils. Do we do a seven nil today? Puts it out to Riera. He doesn't like his feet. Oh, it's tumbled in. It's 7-0. Patrick Angler, what's going on? What's going on? They must be drinking the Mountain Dew. Zero calories, zero sugar, seven goals. It's unbelievable. I cannot believe it. I can't believe it. What a shower of shit these, these Maccabi Tel Aviv have been. It's a tap-in. It's a flipping floater. Floated in there. England's having a barnstorming game. Everybody bars one's on green. Even Hubert has got 7.6 and he's, and he's touched the ball like twice. Goodness gracious me. What a performance. I'm over the moon. Hopefully I press record. Wow, fantastic. Seventh heaven for FC Twente. Look at that. Look at that. England got himself a hat-trick. Did he get himself a hat-trick? No, he didn't. Uh, Joker line with two. England two. Uh, the Van Dude he was even substituted. Because if he, he probably would have had a, a flipping hat trick himself. <gasps> Excuse me. I'm not dealing with them right now. I'm over the moon. 163k. And England on a 7 0 barnstorm. Two goals, one assist, 9.3 average. Uh, we picked him up for a bit of a, a, a cheap, a cheap freebie from Union SG out in Belgium. 
and he's doing very, very bits as well so far. In the in the Euro leagues, in the actual league, he's he's been a bit shit. But uh, you know what? That ain't too shabby, boys. Let's take a look at the situation in the group. Um, come on then, computer, load. Uh, there we are, sitting pretty. Three points clear of Moscow and Mechelin, who we'll take on next uh, in, uh, in a couple of days' time. Um, so, yeah, that's it, folks. That's all I've got for you. So, not too shabby result. 2-0 against Utrecht. 7-0 uh, uh, against Tel Aviv. We'll come back for you in the next one. It will be um, probably... Probably Fortuna. No, we'll probably do this one. Mechelin, Emmen, and then Den Haag, Lokomotiv, Moscow. So, we'll have like a, two episodes stretching over these four games. Um, and we'll look very, very good, uh, hopefully, uh, on our way through to the next round. Anyway, boys and girls, that's all I've got for you. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, nine goals, boys and girls. Smash your thumbs up. I want to see at least nine thumbs up on this bad boy. That's how many goals we got. So that's how many thumbs up I want to see. So be sure to join us for tomorrow as we continue this exciting journey with the goal-scoring bonanza that is FC20. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date. All things Blackburn Rovers related, Championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope. <laughs>